Hi there, it's Jenny of Ads Uncorked. I am so excited you're here. In this very brief tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through Ads Manager. There are so many different bells and whistles. Every time you come into Ads Manager, the buttons change, it says different things. Let me clear away all that confusion, show you what it is that you're looking at and what you need to know, what you don't need to know. This is going to be a brief, high-level overview. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. But first, I own a multi six figure Facebook ad agency. We specifically help Shopify business owners grow their businesses to six and seven figures. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. I've spent over $10 million on Facebook ads. I know a thing or two about what works. All right, let's begin. Okay, so when you are coming in here to create your campaign, of course you click create, but first I just wanna walk through what you're even looking at. Campaign, the campaign level, this tells Facebook what it is that we want people to do. Most of my e-commerce clients were going for a purchase campaign. Sometimes we're trying to get people on their email list. That's a different kind of campaign, but generally speaking, I'm going for purchase here for the campaign. When I click into ad set, this is where we set our daily budget. Uh, this is also where we set a start and an end date and where we choose who we're targeting in our ads. Last but not least, at the ad level, this is the fun part where you actually create the physical ads. Know that these are dummy ads. These are from years and years and years ago in an old ad account that I do not use. So not even sure uh, what ads we have in here at this moment in time, but I'm just using this as an account and to show you the kind of like the skeleton build out of how I create campaigns for my Shopify clients. All right, so first thing you're going to do is go ahead and click create. And these are all the different campaign objectives. Like I said, if you're looking for leads, people to join an email list, webinar, you'd click that. My e-commerce clients were hanging out here in the sales category. You can also build brand awareness. You can get likes, comments, and shares. I'm going to, for this uh, little tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a sales campaign for you. So I will click campaign. Now we have two different options, a tailored sales campaign or a manual sales campaign. I prefer manual setup. I want full control of my campaign. I don't want Facebook doing any of it. I wanna know exactly where my money is being spent. So I click on manual. All right, so we're back here. It's just reminding us that we now need to name our campaign. I'm just going to call this test. Special ad categories, most people will not be in here for their e-commerce campaign. So we're gonna just leave that. We're gonna leave all these settings, A-B testing. I can tell you all about A-B testing. I'm not gonna turn on this button though. We will do it manually when it's time. Advantage campaign budget, keep that off. We're gonna just ignore it for now. There are a couple different ways you can control budget. Just go with the regular way that they have it set up. All right, so I went ahead and I clicked through into our ad set. So ad set, this is where your audience name will go. I like typing it in here so that I can quickly come in and see, oh yes, I was targeting people interested in Flowdesk or Shopify or whatever it might be. All right, if I scroll on down, so yes, I'm looking to drive website traffic. And what I have to do is select my pixel. If you haven't created a pixel, you've got to make sure you get that set up. If you need help with that, please reach on out. It's super easy to do. You set up your pixel, there's step-by-step -step instructions. And then I would just select purchase. If you have a different goal, we can talk about how to get that set up for you, but this is how we're doing it for now. You've got your budget, your start and end date. That's pretty self-explanatory. And audiences, this is the really fun part where you can do an interest-based audience. So say what people are interested in. You could create a lookalike audience, retargeting audience. There are so many options. I have a bunch of favorites, but we're not gonna go into the weeds here today. All right, last but not least, manual versus advantage plus placements. If you wanna control where your ads are going, click manual. If you don't care, go ahead and click advantage plus. I like removing certain placements, or if I only want to run an Instagram Reels or Stories campaign, you can play with all of those settings here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is click on Add. For an ad, this is where you set it up and you create it. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll go through strategy again a different time, but you go ahead and click uh, Manual Upload, and you can upload images. I'll just go ahead and set this up just so you can see kind of what this looks like. Let's do an image of me from a few years ago. <laughs> All right. So then in here, what I'm going to do is this is where your ad text goes. This is where you tell people about your product. This is where your headline is in the ad. This is where you say even a little bit more about your product. And then you can change your button to anything you want, such as if you're selling something, maybe order now. 
All right, you enter your URL, you click publish, and there you go. Your first ad is created.